Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to the lecture series on food technology. Today, we shall discuss about the topic food as substrate for microbes under the following subheadings. 1. Introduction. 2. Factors that affect the growth of microorganism. 3. Intrinsic factor that affect the growth of microorganism and 4. Eccentric factors that affect the growth of microorganism. Let us introduce this topic. The food for us is also a food for microorganisms. Microorganisms are associated with plants and animals in nature. They play important role for survival of plants and animals. Our food mainly consists of materials from plants and animals that is obvious that food can contain microorganisms. Some microorganisms serve as food, some present in food are helpful and some others are harmful to our health. Microorganisms present in food use them as source of nutrients or their growth media and grow. Growth of microorganisms in food can result in improving the quality of food and in some cases can deteriorate their quality depending on the type of microorganism. Growth of harmful microorganism in food can result in spoilage and sometimes cause several diseases and consumption of such food. Food spoilage by microorganism is due to increase in their numbers, utilizing nutrients, causing enzymatic changes resulting in bad flavors due to breakdown of some food materials or synthesis of new compounds. Due to such microbial activities, food became unfit for human consumption. Microorganisms bring about oxidation of reduced carbon, nitrogen, sulfur compounds present in dead plants and animals in nature and become important part in recycling of these elements. Food acts as good medium for transmission of many diseases. If the food is contaminated by pathogenic microorganism, they can grow and increase their population and cause diseases and consumption of such food. Sometimes microorganism may not grow in food, but they are transported through food. Therefore, food acts as good medium for spread of diseases. Several foodborne diseases are the result of microorganism present in food or their growth in them. Growth of microorganism in nature is dependent on various factors. The factors influencing the growth of microorganism are physical, chemical and biological in nature. The important factors which contribute to the growth of microorganism in food are temperature, pH, moisture content, redox potential, nutrient content, inhibiting substances and other microorganisms present in food. Factors that affect the growth of microorganisms. Several factors related to the environment and the conditions in which food is stored influence the growth of microorganisms in food. These factors can be divided into intrinsic and eccentric elements. Intrinsic factors are those that are characteristic of the food itself. Eccentric factors are those that refer to the environment surrounding to the food. The parameters of plant and animal tissues that are an inherent part of the tissues are referred as intrinsic parameters. These parameters are as follows, nutrient content, pH, moisture content and water activity that is AW, oxidation reduction potential that is EH, antimicrobial constituents, biological structure. The eccentric parameters of food are not substrate dependent. They are those properties of the storage environment that affect both the foods and their microorganisms. Those of greatest importance to the welfare of foodborne organism are as follows. Temperature, relative humidity, presence and concentration of grasses, presence and activities of other microorganisms. Let us discuss now intrinsic factor that affect the growth of microorganisms in detail. Nutrient content. Nutritional quality of food in terms of their chemical composition 
nutritive value are nutrients, their proportion and growth promoting ability are important for growth of microorganisms. Food for energy have more carbohydrates and other carbon compounds like esters, alcohol, peptides, amino acids, organic acid and their salts. Carbohydrates may include polysaccharides like cellulose, starch and different sugars. Depending on the type of carbohydrate and other energy compounds present, there will be variation in terms of microorganism growing in food. Most of the sugary food have growth of yeast and bacteria and starchy food promote growth of molds which are able to hydrolyze starch by producing amylases. Cellulolytic and pectinolytic molds grow on food containing these materials. Carbon for growth usually comes from carbohydrates and other organic compounds in most of the heterotropic microorganisms. The total nitrogen content and different nitrogenous nutrients in food may vary. Microorganisms differ in their ability to use various nitrogenous compounds as source of nitrogen for growth. Many microorganisms are unable to hydrolyze proteins due to lack of proteolytic enzymes. Proteolytic organisms produce proteases and hydrolyze proteins to peptides and amino acids which are used as source of nitrogen for growth by them and others. Proteolytic property is different among microorganisms depending on the type of protease enzyme produced. Bacteria are more proteolytic than fungi in general. Protein rich food promote more growth of bacteria than molds and yeast. Some of the lactic acid bacteria grow best with polypeptides as nitrogen sources, cannot attack casein and do not grow well with only a limited number of and kinds of amino acids present. Presence of fermentative carbohydrates in a food results in an acid fermentation and suppression of proteolytic bacteria preventing production of obnoxious nitrogen products. Many proteolytic bacteria grow best at pH values near neutrality and are inhibited by acidity. Some microorganisms are not able to produce vitamins and other growth factors. They need to be provided in growth medium. Food contain different vitamins, minerals and other growth factors and their composition and content may vary. Fresh plant and animal food contain B complex group of vitamins but stable food lack of these vitamins. Meats are high in B vitamins and fruits are low but fruits are high in ascorbic acid. Processing of food often reduces the vitamin content, thiamine, pantothenic acid, folic acid and ascorbic acid are heat labile and drying cause loss in vitamins such as thiamine and ascorbic acid. Storage of food for long may result in decrease in vitamins and other growth factors. Some microorganisms produce vitamins and other growth factors which support growth of other organisms present in food. Each kind of microorganisms has a range of food requirements. Some have wide range and growth takes place in a variety of substrates such as coliform bacteria. Some pathogenic bacteria have very narrow range of substrates and require presence of specific kinds of substrates for growth. Generally, molds can utilize many kinds of food ranging from simple to complex substrate by producing variety of hydrolytic enzymes. Depending on the composition, complexity and nutritive value, different food support growth of different microorganisms which are responsible for food contamination and spoilage. pH Biocatalytic activities are influenced by pH. Growth of microorganism is affected by the pH of growth environments in food that is growth medium which is the result of large number of enzymes responsible for metabolism and growth. Every organism or enzyme has a minimum, optimum and maximum pH requirements for their survival, growth or catalytic activity. 
influence of pH of food not only has effect on growth of microorganism, but also on processing conditions. Food having acidic contents promote growth of acid loving microorganism such as yeast, mold and some bacteria. Most of the spoilage bacteria grow in food at neutral pH. Food are preserved with the addition of preservatives such as citric acid, acetic acid etc which create acidic environment and protect food in some extent from the growth of bacteria and other microorganisms requiring neutral or alkaline environment. However, there may be changes of contamination and growth of acidophilic molds or yeast. Therefore, growth of molds is frequently observed in fruits, fruit juices and other processed acidic food. Food acidification by fermentation in home food preparation is the oldest practice man has been doing. It is due to production of organic acids in food by growth and fermentation of microorganisms such as lactic acid, acetic acid, bacteria. Lactic acid and acetic acid are considered as antibiotic in earlier scientific observations. Moisture content and water activity that is AW. Life exists only with water. Every living organism has the demand for water without which no growth can occur. Similarly, microorganisms require water for the growth. Water is an excellent solvent for all life processes in every living organism for biocatalytic activity. The amount of water required varies for different organisms. Water requirement of microorganisms is expressed as available water or water activity. Water activity is the vapor pressure of the solution that is of solutes in water in most food divided by the vapor pressure of the solvent usually water. Available water for microorganism varies depending on microorganisms and the type of food. In general, bacteria require more water activity than molds and yeast. Most bacteria grow well in a medium with a water activity approaching 1. They grow well in low concentration of sugar or salt although there are exceptions. Gram negative bacteria have higher water requirements than gram positive bacteria. Most of the food spoilage bacteria do not grow below AW that is 0.91 while spoilage molds can grow even at AW 0.80. The aerobic food poisoning bacteria Staphylococcus aureus is found to grow at AW as low as 0.86 while anaerobic Clostridium botulinum does not grow below AW 0.94. Different molds differ considerably on optimal AW for vegetative growth and spore germinations. Each mold also has an optimal AW and range of AW for growth. The effect of lowering AW below optimum is to increase the length of the lag phase of growth and to decrease the growth rate and size of final population of microorganisms. This is due to adverse influences of lowered water in all metabolic activities in microorganism since all chemical reactions in cell require an aqueous environment. The AW is influenced by either environmental parameters such as pH, EH that is redox potential and growth temperature required for microorganisms. The strategy employed by microorganism as protection against osmotic stress is the intracellular accumulation of compatible solutes. Generally, the effect of lowered AW on the nutrition of microorganism is of a general nature where cell requirements that must be mediated through an aqueous environment are progressively shut off. In addition to the effect on nutrients, lowered AW undoubtedly has adverse effects on the functioning in cell membrane which must be kept in a fluid state. Redox potential that is EH. Prevailing oxygen concentration of food in their environment 
chemical composition and type of microorganisms associated contributed to the oxidation reduction that is OR potential of food and affect growth of microorganisms in them. The OR potential of food is determined by characters such as oxygen tension of atmosphere above the food, access of atmosphere to the food, resistance of food to the changes occurring and OR state of materials present in food. Oxygen content in headspace of the food contributes to the growth of microorganisms as microorganisms are aerobic, microaerophilic, facultative and anaerobic for oxygen requirement to grow. Aerobic and microaerophilic organisms require free oxygen in air but in different concentrations facultatives grow in presence or absence of oxygen and anaerobes grow only in the absence of oxygen. Most of the fungal bacteria and yeast grow in food under aerobic conditions and anaerobic bacteria such as Clostridium botulinum require anaerobic conditions. Oxygen concentration of headspace on food depends on its access to air. Food stored under evacuation are canned promote growth of anaerobic bacteria. Redox potential of a system is expressed as EH and expressed in millivolts that is MV. Highly oxidized substrates have positive EH and reduced substrates have negative EH. Therefore, aerobic organisms require positive EH and anaerobic ones require negative EH values for their growth. Most of the fresh plant and animal food have low redox potential because of reducing substrates present in them. Fresh vegetables and fruits containing reduced substances such as ascorbic acid, reducing sugars and animal tissues have sulfhydryl that is SH group and other reducing group compounds considered as antioxidants. Fresh vegetables, fruits and meat support growth of aerobic microorganism at their surfaces because of positive redox potential. However, the anaerobic microorganisms grow in inner part of vegetables, fruits and meat because of negative redox potential. Most of processed plant and animal foods gain positive redox potential therefore promote growth of aerobic organisms. Food subjected to heat and are packed under negative pressure promote growth of anaerobic organisms. Microorganisms growing in food may create different redox potential states depending on their oxygen requirement and redox changes they bring about in food contents. Quality of processed foods in terms of redox status depends on the changes brought about by pressing methods, type of microorganisms and chemical changes. Antimicrobial constituents. The stability of some foods against attack by microorganism is due to the presence of certain naturally occurring substances that possesses and expresses antimicrobial activity. Some plant species are known to contain essential oils that possesses antimicrobial activity. Among these are eugenol in cloves, allicin in garlic, cinnamic aldehyde and eugenol in cinnamon, allyl isothiocyanate in mustard, eugenol and thymol in sage and carvacrol that is isothymol and thymol in oregano. Cow's milk contains several antimicrobial substances including lactoferrin, coagglutinin and the lactoperoxidase system. Raw milk has been reported to contain a rotavirus inhibitor that can inhibit up to 10 to the power of 6 PFU that is plague forming units per ml. It is destroyed by pasteurization. Milk casein as well as some free fatty acids have been shown to be antimicrobial under certain conditions. Eggs contain lysozyme as does milk and this enzyme along with conalbumin provides fresh eggs with a fairly efficient antimicrobial system. The hydroxycinamic acid derivatives that is para 
caumeric, ferulic, caffeinic and chlorogenic acids found in fruits, vegetables, tea, molasses and other plant sources as show antibacterial and some antifungal activity. Eccentric factors that affect the growth of microorganisms in that temperature. Microorganisms individually as a group grow over a wide range of temperature. Therefore, it is well to consider at this point the temperature growth ranges for organisms of importance in food as an aid in selecting the proper temperature for the storage of different types of food. The lowest temperature at which a microorganism has been reported to grow is minus 34 degree Celsius. The highest is somewhere in excess of 100 degree Celsius. It is compulsory to place microorganism into three groups based on their temperature requirements for growth. Those organisms that grow well at or below 7 degrees Celsius and have their optimum between 20 degree Celsius and 30 degree Celsius are referred to as cyclotropes. Those that grow well between 20 degree Celsius and 45 degree Celsius with optimum between 30 and 40 degree Celsius are referred as mesophiles. Whereas those that grow well at and above 45 degree Celsius with optimum between 55 to 65 degree Celsius are referred as thermophiles. With regard to bacteria, alkalisins, Schwannella, Brachothrix, Cornibacterium, Flavobacterium, Lactobacillus, Micrococcus, Pectobacterium, Pseudomonas, Cycrobacter, Enterococcus and others. The cyclotrophs found most commonly on foods are those that belong to the genera Pseudomonas and Enterococcus. These organisms grow well at refrigerator temperature and cause spoilage at 5 to 7 degrees Celsius of meats, fish, poultry, eggs and other foods normally held at this temperature. Standard plate counts of viable organism on such foods are generally higher when the plates are incubated at about 7 degrees Celsius for at least 7 days than when incubated at 30 degrees Celsius and above. They apparently do not grow at this temperature but do grow at temperatures within the mesophilic range if other conditions are suitable. It should be pointed out that some organisms can grow over range from 0 degree Celsius to 40 degree Celsius. One such organism is Enterococcus faecalis. Most thermophilic bacteria of importance in foods belong to the genera Bacillus, Clastridium, Geobacillus and Thermoanerobacter. Although not all species of these genera are thermophilic, they are of great interest to the food microbiologist and food technologist in the canning industry. Just as molds are able to grow over wide range of pH, osmotic pressure and nutrient content, they are also able to grow over wide range of temperature as do bacteria. Many molds are able to grow at refrigerator temperatures, notably some strains of Aspergillus, Cladosporium and Tamnidium which may be found growing on eggs, beef and fruits. Yeast grow over the cyclotrophic and mesophilic temperature ranges but generally not within the thermophilic range. Relative humidity that is RH. The RH of the storage environment is important both from the standpoint of water activity within foods and the growth of microorganisms at the surfaces. When the AW of a food is set at 0 0.60, it is important that this food be stored under conditions of RH that do not allow the food to pick up moisture from the air and thereby increases its own surface and subsurface AW to a point where microbial growth can occur. When foods with low AW values are placed in environments of high RH, the foods pick up moisture until equilibrium has been established. Likewise, 
Foods with a high AW lose moisture when placed in an environment of low RH. There is a relationship between RH and temperature that should be borne in mind in selecting proper storage environments for foods. In general, the higher the temperature, the lower the RH and vice versa. Presence and concentration of gases. Carbon dioxide CO2 is the single most important atmospheric gas that is used to control microorganisms in foods. Ozone O3 is the other atmospheric gas that has antimicrobial properties and it has been tried over a number of decades as an agent to extend the shelf life of certain foods. It has been shown to be effective against a variety of microorganism, but because it is a strong oxidizing agent, it should not be used on high lipid content foods since it would cause an increase in rancidity. Presence and activities of other microorganisms. Some food born organism produce substances that are either inhibitory or lethal to others. These include antibiotics, bacteriocytes, hydrogen peroxide and organic acids. In conclusion, the foods that support the growth of all human beings also support the growth of microorganisms. Taken together, all the intrinsic and eccentric parameters represents nature's way of preserving or supporting plant and animal based foods from microorganisms. By determining the extent to which each exists in a given food, one can predict the general types of microorganisms that are likely to grow. Thank you.